And here's the most important news of the day. It's Friday. Clay Bowler has become active in politics. Starting last year, he didn't support Billy Long, the Democrat running for Congress in his Missouri district, so he started a website. He began attending campaign events. He even started asking the candidate tough questions. But when Long eventually won, Bowler and his website, Long is Wrong, went away. So when the FBI showed up at his door recently saying he was perceived to be making threats to the congressman, he was shocked. Bowler said, I'm not a threat to Billy Long. I find the whole thought funny because I'm such an advocate for constitutional rights. I would never do anything that would put in jeopardy those constitutional rights like the Second Amendment. Bowler admitted he confronted Long in the past but never threatened him. He said, I never, ever, ever threatened him. Bowler showed KSRP the worst of his confrontations, a YouTube video showing him walking with Long, asking him questions, more of a journalistic inquiry than a threatening tirade. But that didn't stop the FBI agents, accompanied by a local sheriff, from investigating him. But how did they get the name? The local sheriff says the Capitol Police now are actively soliciting the names of possible threats from members of Congress in the wake of of the assassination attempt of last week. He admitted there are more names. Uh, his, his, his office is looking into it. Names that came from Congressman Long. When it came to the actual investigation, Bowler told the news station the FBI was cordial, but it is still worrisome that somehow he got put on a list and that local and federal law officials showed up at his door. But he added he was told he has been cleared and he is not a threat. The question is, is he still on any list. Our country is just, it is, just, this has been the most bizarre week.